welcome back to the Geek Man Cave and welcome back to my Avengers Endgame celebration. Now today guys, this video is for you guys. Yes, for my wonderful subscribers. Guys, the channel has just hit 3,000 subscribers. I never thought the channel would go this far. So thank you so much for all your views, for all your comments. Today, as a bit of a tribute to Endgame and probably my favorite MCU character of all time, Tony Stark, AKA the incredible, invincible Iron Man, I'm gonna create one of the very first MCU props. I'm gonna show you how to create your very own proof that Tony Stark has a heart Mark 1 arc reactor. So guys, this is for my 3,000 subscribers. I love you 3,000. So what you're going to need first, Geeks, is an LED push light or a tap light. You can pick these up in most hardware shops for quite cheap. This one comes with remote control, so it'll be pretty cool for later. So guys, what you want to do is use this as your heart, literally, for your arc reactor. So to create my ring around the arc reactor, I'm going to use this chopping board I picked up in Ikea for a pound. And guys, I'm going to use my LED tap light as my stencil to trace my ring around my cutting board. Then I'm going to use a compass to measure 1.5 centimeters width around my chopping board. That way then I can cut this out and I'll have a perfect circle ring that can fit over my LED light. Now guys, I started using my Dremel to cut through this chopping board, but it would have taken me all day. So I decided to use a jigsaw. It's up to you what you want to use. The jigsaw cut it through quite easily, but be careful when using a jigsaw. So for the base of the arc reactor, I'm using this very small Tupperware I got from my takeaway. So guys, I'm going to just hot glue this straight onto the bottom. The great thing is, is it fits straight on the battery pack, which means I can just twist this off to get the battery. To add a little bit more of effect and make it look a bit more movie authentic, I'm going to hot glue these matches around my container so it gives it a more movie authentic look. Using images online, I drew a design for the middle piece and then traced this onto some plywood which I sprayed black and then cut out using my Dremel. Also to give more effect to that middle piece, I picked up this kitchen sink cover that you can pick for like 70 pence in a hardware shop, cut out the centre piece so then I can stick that over to give it again more effect to that core arc reactor look. With my ring also cut out, I've sanded it down using my Dremel, but now it's time to give it those effective rings. For that guys, to section your rings, I'm using these cable ties, wrapping them around my arc reactor ring. Now guys, I did one at the bottom, one at the top, and then did four either side. With them done, all you want to do then is to cut off the edges, and then you're ready to add your wiring. Now for the copper wiring effect, I found the easiest and cheapest method was to pick up this very plain white wire. So guys, I picked this up in my hardware shop for really cheap for about a pound. And then what I would do is wrap this around those sections of the cable ties and then cut them and hot glue them down. This way it was easier and cheaper than buying actual copper wire and it just looked as good as using any other type of wire. And to give it that copper wire color, all I did was use a copper colored Sharpie. With that done, I decided to add some more of that wire. I ripped the wire in two so it became thinner pieces, cut these into small sections and then hot glued them to connect each of the cable ties together. The final effect I wanted to give was that solder effect that you see on the arc reactor. So for that guys, I just created small blobs of hot glue on each part of those thin copper wires. When they dried, I coloured them in with a silver sharpie to give it the effect that they were soldered straight onto this arc reactor ring.
With our ring now done, it's time to move on to our LED light. Now to give it a more arc reactor look, I've decided to paint the cover, the front cover plastic of mine in a metallic blue. Now my case come off so I could just paint that separate, but there's no reason why you can't just paint over the top of yours. For the bottom of the arc reactor, what I'm going to do is to drill a small hole using my Dremel. This is so I can add a black and red wire to the base. I'm also using the leftover part of the kitchen sink cover to give the base a more arc reactor base look. For the centerpiece, I'm using an old key ring, ring and colouring it gold using a gold Sharpie permanent marker to add effect. Now for our proof that Tony Stark has a heart, I'm using 1.5mm foam board here and I'm just creating a circle that I found using one of my son's bowls which is a perfect size. Now I've painted the back of my LED light black to match the base, I'm going to use that base to draw a circle so then I know that the arc reactor will fit perfectly into place. With the base now sprayed black, it's time to add our black and red wire. Now I got this black and red wire from an old AV cable I had lying around the house. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to thread it through the hole, tie a knot in the end of it, add some hot glue to it so it stays in place. Base complete, all I need to do is to spray my foam board with silver metallic paint and then it's just a case of hot gluing all the pieces together. You can see the cup fits perfectly on the bottom and it allows me to twist it off so I can change the batteries for my light. With that done guys, the last thing left to do is to write proof that Tony Stark has a heart in black sharpie around the arc reactor. And with that done guys, it's finally time for our final reveal.
very own proof that Tony Stark has a heart. Arc Reactor Mark 1 remote control light. Guys, super happy with how this turned out. It looks absolutely incredible in the Geek Cave. I cannot wait to see the ones that you build. Please share any of your images of builds you make on my Facebook at the Geek Man Cave or on my Instagram at the Geek Man Cave. Guys, again, like I said, this video is for my 3,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for all your support. To all my new viewers, guys, I really do love you 3,000. So guys, remember, it's your cave, your rules, and I'll see you next time.